Now, let's go on to talk about effective communication and employee engagement. So you want to have a clear explanation of the generative AI benefits and impacts on individual roles. So I talked about sales so benefits. So think about which ones are applicable to your company. Regularly update folks on generative AI integration progress into your company. Use multiple channels, meetings, emails, intranet, whatever you're using, Slack, obviously, Microsoft Teams messages. So for a mid-sized tech company with which I worked, we had regular town hall meetings discussing generative AI initiatives and Q&A sessions to address employee concerns. And that transparent sharing of generative AI, project milestones and outcomes helped build a lot of buy-in and employee engagement in the process where in the Q&A, the CEO answered some tough questions and that was really valuable. So you wanna be able and prepared to do that. Address staff concerns and misconceptions. Have open forums for discussing generative AI related anxieties like those town halls and Q&A sessions. Provide factual information. You'll have a lot of myths you'll want to counter, and so you'll want to make sure to counter those myths. Early adopter facilitated initiatives will help demonstrate the positive impact of generative AI. So you want to plan out in advance how to have some of those wins, early wins forward. So thinking about early onward, how you have those early wins is really helpful. So regional insurance company with which I worked on this topic, hosted generai myths and facts sessions for employees, and that was really helpful. And it created an internet portal with generative AI resources and facts customized. We customized those to the company. So I have a template of those that I use for companies in general, and then I customize it to each individual company's needs. So that's what you wanna be thinking about. How to customize general templates, FAQs, for your company's actual needs. And that helped reduce employee com apprehension, worries about things, and increased their acceptance of generative AI as a tool. How do you get employees involved? So you want to form cross-functional generative AI committees across a number of departments, because you'll definitely have workflows that go across departments. And you wanna make sure that generative AI is adopted at similar times across departments that share workflows. Invite employees to make sure that they participate in those pilot programs and think about those early wins. So I talked about early wins already. Think about in your company, what would you do to have early wins? Early wins are a great strategy to get generative AI excitement built up. Encourage feedback on generative AI tools and processes. So get that information. A client case study for is a mid-sized logistics company with which I worked, which established a Genai Council with representatives across the organization. It piloted Genai projects with volunteer employee task forces and integrated feedback to refine how we integrated generative AI into the company as we implemented it. Empower employees, create platforms that they can use to submit ideas and innovations recognize and reward their contributions as part of their performance evaluations, give some rewards and bonuses, promote a culture of collaboration and shared success. So in a mid-sized high-tech manufacturing company, which we did is we launched an internal innovation hub for generative AI ideas and we rewarded employees for innovation that helped solve things using generative AI. And we fostered a really collaborative environment for generative AI integration. Encourage supportive environment for experimentation. So that's the psychological safety that I talked about. Again, repeating themes from earlier. Promote a culture that values innovation and experimentation. Have teams test various generative AI tools and methods and make sure that they know that they don't have to commit to them as they start with them. Allow rooms for failures and learning from those mistakes and provide resources and time for people to experiment. So in the regional professional services firm, what we did is employees received a toolbox with resources for innovation and staff were encouraged to develop and test new ideas and experiment with them. The examples of outcomes for HR of these ideas, I'll give you some examples. There was increased improvement ag algorithms using generative AI, that was really helpful. We had better employee engagement tools, so that was really helpful. 
and significant increase in innovative HR solutions as a result. So that's the kind of things that you can get. Now, how do you balance autonomy with guidance? You want to set clear goals and expectations for the projects for generative AI and have regular check-ins to monitor progress and provide feedback. Encourage various teams to collaborate and share insights. That's the cross-functional committees that really helps. Provide continuous training and development opportunities for folks. And some mid-sized tech firm, what we did was we offered a structured training programs alongside independent project work. So that's guidance with autonomy and review sessions to discuss progress and challenges. That was really helpful for folks. We encourage staff to collaborate and share their best practices. And we maintain a balance between autonomy and guided support for AI initiatives as a result. 